Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to the Social Dot In account. I am your host Pradeep, and in this episode of the Social Media Weekly, we're talking about Google's device lock controller. We're talking about Google Photos and their horrible business idea, and we're talking about Facebook's vanish mode. Let's get started. The first story we have for you today is about Google's page experience and how they're going to shame you into fixing your website. You can go over to Google Search Console right now and then you can tap on Web Vitals and then you can check the Web Vitals of your website. If your Web Vitals are not good, starting from next year, Google is actually going to put up a label on your search result telling people that you don't have a good page experience. What are the various factors that make up Web Vitals? Well, it's your mobile optimization, your page speed, your HTTPS, and your user experience. Google has already done something similar to this for AMP or accelerated mobile pages. You can check out the story in the link in the description right next to that like button. Our next story has to do with Google Photos and their horrible, horrible business idea. The promise with Google Photos was that you had free unlimited storage for all of your high quality, not original quality pictures. Now, Google Photos starting from June 2021 is going to count your high quality pictures towards your 15 GB Google Drive limit, which is absolutely terrible. Basically because Google has finished training their AI on all of your data and now they've decided that your data is not that valuable. It's interesting because we're practically at the mercy of these big tech companies and when they want us to pay, we pay. Our next story has to do with Google's device lock controller application. So apparently Google has partnered with a Kenyan telecom company called Safaricom and has launched rather secretively an app called Google Device Controller App. Basically, if you install this app, it uses the Android services API and will lock your phone if you default on your payment of your telecom dues. Basically, I can see a world in which in the future, banks and creditors force you to install a Google device lock controller application. And if you default on your payments, your phone becomes a brick. Our next story has to do with Facebook's vanish mode. So Facebook is turning on vanish mode on their Messenger and Instagram direct platforms, wherein you can swipe up on your mobile device and turn on vanish mode. You can also tap on turn off vanish mode when you're done. Your screen will go dark and any messages you send will be automatically deleted after they are seen by the user or after the other user leaves the chat. What's even more interesting here is that Facebook came up with this genius move by copying Snapchat. Interestingly, if you want to report a chat, then the disappeared messages will actually remain there for one hour after they disappear. You can only enter vanish mode with people who you are friends with on Facebook. So I guess that's all right then. For our final story, we're going to be talking about WhatsApp and their ambitions to become Amazon. So WhatsApp Pay launched in India a little while back. Basically, it's UPI for WhatsApp. And now WhatsApp is rolling out a shopping button at the top of chats with businesses that support it. When you tap on the shop button, you are taken to the in-app product catalog wherein you can buy items using WhatsApp Pay. What else? What's interesting here is that WhatsApp ads completely failed and now WhatsApp is looking at other ways to make money. That's about it for this week's episode, guys. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. As always, please go over to YouTube and subscribe to the social dot in account. Ring that notification bell so that you never miss a video and we will see you guys in the next episode.